Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is reverse vowels of a string. So this question is similar to a question called reverse words. So in that question, you reverse all the characters in that string. In this question, only have to reverse the vowels in the string and return it. So we are given a string called S and we have to reverse only all the vowels in the string and return it. So vowels are the characters A, E, I, O, U and they might appear in both lower and upper cases more than once. So if this is the input string hello, this will be changed to here you can see there are two vowels E and O so you swap them. So this will become holy and in this case you have lead code. So you identify the vowels first, last uh, vowel comes to the front, the second last comes to the second most. This goes here and this goes back here and this is the output we need. So we declare two pointers which is starting at the beginning. So this will be the start pointer and this will be the end pointer. End pointer will be starting from the end. We check if the characters at these pointers S and E start and end are not vowels. If that is the case, S will move from left to right and end pointer will move from right to left. And if those characters point to a vowel, we swap those two pointers using a swap method. And once these two pointers cross each other or meet when S is equal to E, uh, we end the iteration. So let's implement these steps in a Java program. So I created a character array which will convert the input string into a character array. So let's take the same example S is having hello. So this will be converted into a character array. And I'm creating a string called vowels which is containing uppercase and lowercase vowels. So I will use this string to check if a character pointing inside the car array is a vowel or not and I'm declaring the two pointers start and end. Start is pointing in the beginning and end is pointing at the end and I'm using a while loop to increment the start variable and this is to increment the end variable. So if that current character pointing at start, so start is now pointing at h, so this is having h. I'm checking if h is present inside this vowel string. It is not present. So, so it is equal to minus 1. So this condition will pass and start will increment. So I move start. And this while loop, uh, I check if the character at start, character at start is e. I check if e is present inside this vowel string. Yes, e is present. So I stop. This while loop will be skipped and it will come to the second while loop. In the second while loop, I'm checking if the character at end character at end is pointing at the character O. I'm checking if O is present inside this vowels uh, string. Yes, it is present. So it will skip this while loop. Now S is pointing at E and E is pointing at O. So we swap this two. So this will become H O L L E. And now start will increment and end will increment to check for next vowels. So start will now point at end, end will decrement. Car start start is pointing at L. We check if L is present inside this vowel string. No, L is not present. So we move start further. So start is also pointing at L. Now start and end are both equal. So this condition will fail. We come out of the while loop. And now we are converting the character array into a string. So character array now having these characters H O L L E. And I'm converting into a string. So this will become O L L E because we have to return a string as the output. So this will be returned as the output and that is the expected output. So the time complexity of this approach is O of N where N is the length of the input string as the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.